Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back every single day. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, career, moving, anything you could ask about. Mondays are a different style every week. Later in the month of April, I'm going to have a four-month predictive for the months of May through August. I don't do those very often, so if you haven't yet, you might want to subscribe and even hit that bell so that you'll be notified and you won't miss that one. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You have the Six of Pentacles, the Sun. Sun's been making an appearance. Now, this is interesting. We have 78 cards here. The sun, the ju judgment comes right after the sun. We've got the sun and judgment. We have temperance, two archangels making an appearance. Three of pentacles, the devil, the, the chariot, I'm speechless, and the lovers. All three archangels, four, five, no, I'm sorry, six major arcana. I can hardly say it, I'm so excited. I mean, this is crazy. When we start to see this, you have all three of them coming in. This is a time of your life that you will remember for a long, long time. This is a time when you're going to be blessed. You could not have had a better reading. Major arcana are major life events. If I had a way to hold up six cards here, I would because this is big time. So we have here uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer. We've got Leo and we have Capricorn here. We also have Earth. So I feel like it'll be a very stable time in your life, but things are moving forward. It's wonderful. So with the energy of the six of pentacles here, this is also features the scales of balance. So Libra energy as well. Um, but with the six of pentacles, it's like you're going to get back what you give. This universe is a a very, in some ways, it's a very impersonal place because it just answers our energy. So it doesn't decide, I like you and I don't like you. It just says, here's the energy you're putting out. So I feel like for somebody here, you're really figuring that out. Now, in terms of a job, you have here travel, you have moving, and you also have, for somebody, even a new car. So those of you that are trying to get a situation, you may have somebody who helps you. If you're trying to buy something, somebody who gives you great advice. I also feel though at work, you're gonna be compensated. So you'll be making enough money where it's not a huge stretch. And you also too, for somebody, I feel like you get a bonus coming in or you have some kind of side hustle that's gonna help you get something even more than what you originally thought you could afford. So you also have a housing change with that three of pentacles. So whether it's a car or a housing move, it's definitely going to be an upward move. So with the sun here, I do get for somebody, though, I'm going to say this before we move on. If it is a move and you need a little more time, like you're renting and you need like a month to month thing, I feel like they're going to allow that. Somebody's going to have somebody who works with you. That's what I get. Like a, They're willing to work with your situation. While the sun is high vibrational energy, I absolutely love it in this reading. If, in terms of relationships, you are bringing in an absolute match. We are done with people who play small. We are done with limitations here. And so with the energy of the sun, it's complete synergy. This The wavy rays indicate high vibration. So you have great healing here too, but you have a soulmate showing up here. And it feels like freedom. It feels like complete joy. This is liberation. But the sunflowers are so important. The only other card that has a sunflower is the queen of wands. Those sunflowers point towards the sun. And when the sun goes down, they point towards one another because they're energetically attracted. And so I feel like whoever this is, 
They are manifesting you. And I feel like when you meet each other or if you've already met each other, it's going to feel like you've known each other forever. Like you have a lot of similar musical taste. You may find if you want to, you know, get into one another's cars and set on the same 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 channel, same radio station, all that kind of stuff because you're in sync, you're in a frequency together. It's like your frequency twins or something. And so with the energy of the sun, it's openness, it's love, it's gratitude. It's it's a beautiful time in your life that like I said it brings in love, gains and absolute true joy. So there's nothing better. With the energy of judgment, I'm still trying to get past the fact that this came next. This is important because judgment is still an ascension. When we have the, key, there's like these keys of the tarot. I won't get into the whole explanation, but you're on this ascension on the latter part of the major arcana. And so with this, you're definitely making upward gains in terms of news and information. You're going to get positive information and news. So those of you that have been waiting or trying to figure out some kind of a move, or if it is the acquisition of a car, even this, and I know that's kind of a mundane thing when we're talking about the Archangel Gabriel, who determines who gets into heaven and make, helps them with their life reviews. I get it. That seems like an odd connection. But I do feel like with this, it's still celebration. That's what it ultimately is about. And you're also leaving behind restrictions. So judgment is a new perspective, but it can be a decision. And I do feel for somebody here, you have a decision that's going to bring so much joy to your heart. And especially, too, if there's a relationship, I do see this moving forward. There's no end in sight anytime soon. And so with this, there's an integration. It's like a, this is, you know, self-mastery. It's really understanding yourself and knowing who you are so that you'll immediately know and recognize what's a match and what isn't. And that's going to give you so much more command over your own life because you won't walk into situations that you know aren't a match. And you're also not going to lower your standards because why would you? We have 8 billion people. There's all kinds of opportunities. So with the energy of temperance, I love this too. This is very much inflow energy. Now he tips his toe into this seat of the soul, the pool of consciousness here. So meditate and quiet the mind. But this is a card that tells you you have a new dawn coming, a dawn of a new day, a new beginning that comes in. This brings wonderful healing into your life. So if you've had relationships in the past that were codependent or were even abusive, I feel like with this, it's like the first time you've ever been in love. I mean, you cannot have more support and healing energy around you than you do in this reading with the Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and also Raphael. I mean, this is very, um, it, it's a significant, significant time in your life. So with the temperance energy, it, like I said, it's kind of a go with the flow. So I feel like whoever you're attracting is going to be very in tune with you. They're just going to know when you need some time, you need some privacy, and that's just kind of who you are. That's okay. They don't see it as a slight. They don't try to force you to be somebody you're not. They love you for who you are. And so in terms of who you're attracting, I feel like it's a very much a reciprocal thing where you kind of get each other. And so with this, you're going to feel wonderfully supported. And in terms of a job too, if you, I, I get it more with the acquisition of something, buying something, but either way, you still have support here. So even if you need some time off, if you're going to get in that chariot and travel, um, you're going to get what you need. So the Three of Pentacles is teamwork. It's collaboration. But this Three of Pentacles is a new opportunity. It's telling you, too, that you're going to make gains. You're going to get rewarded. You have it multiple times here. So those of you that have, have done some, been, been loyal to a company or you've done some extra work, you're going to get a payoff for that. Um, but with this, too, it's partnerships, it's wonderful relationships, and it's long-term planning. So again, those of you, if you're single, I don't see that for long. I mean, this is for the, the long haul. Invite me to the wedding if you want to get married. Um, but it's ultimately, this is a, a foundation of trust. So if you're starting some kind of a new business, too, and you have a partnership or collaboration, this is great energy. It's a, It truly is a, a true team, a true partnership that you're bringing in here, Scorpio. So the devil shows up and that devil, <laughs> you know, you have, I, I will, I will point this out. We have to be a little bit careful with these two together. 
um, because temperance tells us to be in moderation, whereas the devil likes to overindulge. The devil can be very codependent, but this can also be alcoholism or drug use or way overeating, eating tons of sugar. Like I see somebody eating ice cream right out of the tub. Not that I'm knocking that, but you know, if you can't stop and you go, oh my God, how did I end up with a half gallon already gone? It's that sort of thing. So the tarot is your best friend who always tells you the truth. And they are kind of giving just a little nod to that saying, hey, just make sure we're still in moderation. Be careful too, if it's exercise even, like over running or doing things where your joints are saying uncle and waving a white flag. We want to make sure with this, we don't overdo it in any direction. So with this, so I do feel like ultimately it's things that are within your control and it's all about breaking old habits and limitations. You have an unlimited reading. So with the energy of the chariot, this is so wonderful. And the chariot moves everything forward, law of attraction style. The chariot, had the, these two sphinxes pull the chariot and they have nothing. They have no harnesses. He uses his mind. So in a relationship, there's great protection. Those of you that are in a relationship now, I feel like this person gets it. Like they don't do dumb things. They don't have the phone full of old numbers and stuff. They just have no interest in it. It's somebody who's mature. Now, this is also too, for some, I still get it that you're going to meet somebody who's going to be very helpful on your path, especially if you're buying something who's going to give you great insight, advice, and it's going to pay off. So with the energy of the lovers, whatever it is you're asking about, now you have six, seven here. I didn't catch that at first. Um, you have a lot of interesting cards here because temperance comes right before the devil and the lovers comes right before the chariot. They're not quite in order, but there is an alignment here. So anyway, with the lovers, in terms of a relationship, this is everything. It is truly born out of love, and it's a relationship that will evolve. This can also be fertility. You have fertility here a few different times, so be aware of that. But it's, it's a time in your life where your heart will be full. This is a very positive card. I, I do like it when these two show up, too. They're so different, right? Whereas with the devil, it's being controlled with the energy of the lovers. It's really about your connection with source. So, all right, I, I went a little long there because how could I not? This was just unlike any other reading. All right, what else does Scorpio need to know, please? Messages for Scorpio, please. What else does Scorpio need to know? Improving health, mind, body, spirit. You're on the mend, you're on the rise. Trust, they say. We've got, listen to your intuition because we know that's our guide, our guidance system. Take action, they say. They've got there's something better, so when you ask, don't be shy. This or something better, but great things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you and I'll be back again soon.